evening all. Okay, it's the week, the Warzone final tonight, 27th of January. And um, okay, I've just watched uh, Magnus Carlsen going over his game against Nakamura. Uh, quite amazing mix of evaluation and calculation. Um, uh, it's amazing to see those players analyze games. So, uh, okay. But on the channel, if you want to see a detailed um, uh, annotation, I did one yesterday. It was a very interesting game, I thought. In the Sicilian defence, uh, so the game Magnus Carlsen against Nakamura, Tatar still, 2013. So okay, so so far 91 have entered. It's very popular this weekend, uh, Warzone final. Um, having Sunday dinner a bit later, so maybe uh, I don't know. Maybe hopefully I can start off without being asleep in this tournament. Um, so 96, average rating 2050. Um, okay. I'll mention it in the uh, stream room. Weekly final. Okay. So 100 now have entered. Maximum capacity of 1,000. Uh, so to get your thousand cubits back, oh dear, what have I done? Uh oh, I'm gonna be late for the first round now. I accidentally logged out. Oh, what a muppet! <laughs> now hopefully it starts off a little bit, a few seconds later, so I don't miss too much time. Oh dear, what a muppet already! Ah, <laughs> oh. <laughs> let me back in. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. Uh, hopefully there's a delay. Uh, did it start? Did it start? Uh, <laughs> no game yet? Just mention it. I think there might be a little bit of delay at the start. Ah, oh, no, no, not one of my bogey opponents um, or from a draw I think let me place one easier <laughs> I just want to get some confidence with, with someone that hasn't beaten me like 10 times before uh, if I can get a, a good start uh, uh, okay okay so Grand Prix attack I'll play for a quick G4 soon, as you can play F5 here. Um, play D5 to try and. Can I try and weaken his king side? I don't know. You can play H6 or F6. Sort of try and create some weaknesses. Maybe G4. Is that too adventurous? Let's play F5. Bishop b1 on knight b4. I suppose he's got b3. Um, can I kick that one? I suppose there's knight b3 picking up knight square bishop. Uh, get this center though. Controlling b2 at the moment. Is f5 on the cards? Queen a2 might be useful on this diagonal. I'm hoping f6 is going to be useful. Okay, is e takes maybe? Or rook takes, maybe rook takes. And queen g2. I'm taking here for a moment. And trying to get onto the light squares. If I'm going to use the e2 square at some point. Um, or d3 for e5. I think e2 for h5. Okay. Oh. I'm on the scoreboard. Someone's got six though. What's happening here? <laughs> uh, okay. 
location as pack, I think. I'm trying to get people out of their books with Night C6. It's um called a Tango system. It's discussed quite a lot on chasmold.net forums, the tango system. It's sort of tangoing with the knight. Uh, if I can double pawns, I don't mind that. It's like the Nimzo Indian kind of strategy. I can try and go for F4. The F4 square. Can I also sort out the screen? Um, at the top, it's a bit. Okay. So this F4 square, I don't know about C5, Queen C5, or this diagonal. Okay, this this diagonal could be good, but I suppose bishop d4 and break up the pawns a little bit if he plays en passant. And then play for c5 and queen f6 anyway, knight e5 after that, bishop b7. I don't think d5 is that good. Maybe bishop d7 first and then queen f6. So I'm on c3. Okay. I think knight e5 is going to be good. Um, this position it looks like a juicy knight. Uh, um, actually, can I go for this c4? In fact, knight c4 on queen a4 for queen c3. Wouldn't I be winning the rook? Okay, let's win this pawn instead. Attacking the queen. C3 is going to drop. That would give me knight e3 if c3 drops. Knight e3 could be fun. Oh, anything better? The knight's good here at the moment. Without evicting the queen or a5. Just a5. The knight's kind of nice on c4. What about just getting the, the rook round? Because um, d6 is being protected by the knight. Okay, so. If I'm going to check here. Uh, ah, so I check here. There's a check on A2 as well now. Um, Queen C4 to C2 on King D3. I thought the knight was good. Okay, so we're up there. And uh, yeah, okay. Let's play maybe C three. Sometimes a good weapon of choice. Surprise weapon. Try to keep the grip on the dark squares. Oh, not the G pawn. <laughs> uh, maybe a double fin chateau. I suppose D four queen E two. Oh, I've got these light squares to play with. Maybe a4, knight a3 to c4. Okay, if I get a knight to c4, I've got a better grip on the dark squares. Knight e5 after that. Or just knight e5 coming up. Well, this ab actually is pinned here. That wasn't a good idea, surely. Is queen c4 possible? I'm going to take more material. F6 if he takes and we'll get a nice knight, defensive knight. Okay, that's put me up there. Good start. So B3, yeah, it's a good surprise weapon. Uh, I think as as is knight C6, they're just I'm just using those surprise weapons really. Provocation. Uh, no, he hasn't gone with D5 though. I wonder just normal development here. So it looks a bit like King's Engine. And Queen E8, E5. Oh, it's going to be solid. Okay. I'll try and just play cautiously for E5. Maybe just. Okay, now sort of King's Engine <coughs> flavour to the position. With this bishop uh, not too hot on C7 or anything. <clears throat> e4 extend my bishop. I think uh, this is pretty tasty. Uh, tasty knight anyway. So knight g6, queen h4. 
Well, he's weakening some diagonals and stuff. Try to get this square d4 for a knight. Okay, we'll even play for b5 maybe. I suppose he's got g4 on the cards. Have I got b5 at some point? Oh, this diagonal is a bit, bit vulnerable. Uh, can I play for this diagonal? If I get my king off this diagonal, um, I suppose he's going to play for g4. Now I'll try and break the center. So d5, I want to try and win d5. If I can win d5. So it's bishop c4. Okay, I'll play this. Just trying to get that center. Will you take care and try to win this pawn? Oh, it's got d3. Ah, right, there's queen c6 as well. Oh, there's takes. Oh, no, no, hang on. Ah, oh, takes queen. Knight d5, I takes queen. Okay, so that's all right for e3 and d3 coming up. Uh, okay, I just d3 here. Uh, oh, that wasn't so hot. Hang on, what am I doing? I'm just losing the exchange. Muppets. <laughs> okay, can my queen come in here for checks and stuff? Too dangerous. It's knight f4. Um, and this thing's pinned at the moment. It's d2. I think just uh, given I got, I think I've got to bail out. Unfortunately, I don't think knight f4. I've got to bail out. Knight f4 takes. Draw. I've got to bail out. Messed that up, too short on time. Uh, that was going well. Mm, shame. <clears throat> oh, I could have taken that. Okay, so, uh, well, isn't there a tactic here? For queen h5, uh, doesn't quite work, does it? Okay, so bishop b5. I think queen h5 coming up. This is this is probably simpler. I think I've got to try and get more careful with the clock as well. That last game showed. Is he going to take her? Otherwise, g4 knight e5 surely. Yeah, I got so depleted of time there. Oh, I also got a bit of lag. Unfortunately, I got a bad connection. Whoa. Bad connection scenario. Okay, um, can't take the eggs. It should be forward for castle queen side. Be on d5. Or maybe knight d5 is possible after castles. He hasn't got. Uh, okay. Yep, yeah, I want a castle queen side here. I think d5 is slightly vulnerable. Um, oh, I'm strengthening his center, it seems. <laughs> Unless knight d5 does anything. Let's try knight d5 for bishop f6. Or knight f6. I'm not sure this was a good idea. This wasn't my best idea. I thought maybe queen g4 here coming up. So he's got a2 as well. Uh, g4, g5. Okay. Um, yes. If I get in g5, mind you, he's got rook b2 and it's dangerous. slaughtered nearly I can play queen a4 uh, 
there's not much else. No, I can't play Green A4. Managed to find a way of getting slaughtered, have I? There's Queen C3, there's Bishop E5, there's Rook D4, there's Queen A2, there's King C1. There's Rook D4. Ultimately, I'm getting slaughtered. That's a shame. Uh, that was unnecessary, wasn't it? I just had to play Bishop C6, it just didn't look that nice. Play Bishop C6, but I needed to play it. This is no good. <laughs> it's a shame we'll start from not playing Bishop C6. Taking a plummet, okay. I don't know, it's solid enough. <clears throat> Can I take this guy? Wasn't he supposed to take on c6? This is some trap. Should be check. He's got to move his queen now. It looks like a solid piece up. Oh, that's good. Bit of recovery. I think B3 is good against him sometimes. Okay, so Queen E7, eh? That's blocking in that bishop. Um, I think I just play for D5 pressure still. And this Queen, this attack on the Queen side. <clears throat> Inverse, this is dangerous to get a sort of attack like this <clears throat> in the French defence if White's castle the Queen side, so it's interesting. Uh, <clears throat> something like uh, okay, coming up for knight B3 to A5 maybe, that goes on to B7. Take uh, looks a bit troublesome this position. <clears throat> 13 at the moment. I'm trying to rack up these wins quickly. Okay. Um, I think b6 for bishop b5. Maybe king e8 d takes. Well, it looks quite crunching. Um, I suppose this is a problem, it's not a problem. There's 95 here as well. Hmm. If I just play this to get rid of that, to get rid of one defensive piece, but it also means c5's guarded, so maybe. Uh, okay, um, if I just castle soon, 95. Always resigned. Okay, so I'm up there again a little bit. So a few hiccups along the way so far, but uh, I'm up there a little bit at this moment. Dream Walker. I think he's a dangerous one. I had suspect. Um, let's play an Alakine defense. Well, his rating doesn't show he's that brilliant at the moment. 1972. And I like this line. I played it in a five minute recently. It's an Alakine defense line. Okay. Takes on g7. Nope. Um, I could 
I don't know, more dynamic, more fun, like this, I hope, for the G file, or am I severely mistaken? Oh, it's getting dangerous already. Stopping d5. Well, queen h5, e6, bishop, almost bishop e6. Okay, knight f4. Okay, gonna try and neutralize the pressure or not. I'm gonna find out very shortly. So, bishop e6 is now threatened. So, if I try and defend like this, I need to try and castle queen side. Again, um, this is a horrible threat. If I dare to go backwards, um, I suppose I'm getting stuffed. There's knight a6 to c7. Oh, there's bishop a3 as well coming up. Mm, can I dare c5? It looks like uh, this is not the sort of position I want. So bishop d7 would lose a piece. So knight c7 um, is uh, I don't know, is there an opportunity to get an endgame <laughs> to try and get the queens off before getting slaughtered? I mean, he just needs the castle and use the rooks. I know he's using a lot of time here. I'm not sure why. So. Just getting the rooks into the attack. Or bishop b5 is, I suppose, tempting. Okay, at least I'm protecting e6 a little bit more. Uh, it's probably not enough. 35 seconds, though. Can I... Hmm, if I castle here... I would hope it improves my king's safety a tiny bit rather than worsens it. He's only got 25 seconds now. Uh, I hope I don't get slaughtered. The queen could try and come up over here. B file looks really dangerous. If I can play E5, it's got 14 seconds here to do something. So queen D6 to stop knight B6. Okay, if I take with this to stop bishop a6. Okay, I think I can just take here. Okay, I need to stop. Oh. It's getting dangerous. For this check. My queen guards. Uh... Oh dear. <laughs> it looks really scary. <laughs> oh no, am I going to tell survive this? What if I take her? Blimey, I was down to the last nine seconds as well. <laughs> oh, that was just scary. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh man. Note to self, don't play G takes F6 in that line. Benko Gamut here, okay. Uh, this weapon of choice is interesting. Being symmetrical. Okay. Controlling E4. Try and prevent Knight before as well. I'm going to play knight e5, nice grip on e5, nice ready made attack sometimes. Um, I think I want to take. Okay, slightly weaken my center maybe, I think I'll stop b5. I'll go over here, I'm on f7. Also, rook f7s are going to be useful. Okay, there's a queen f7 here. 
um, or rook f7. I think uh, rook f7 could be handy for pinning down the um, queen. If g6, queen h7. Uh, so I'm pinning down the queen to e7. Right, so I'm going to play this. <coughs> right, this looks good. So queen e6. If I can play, well, that still looks good. I just take. Uh, so, no d5, queen c4, queen e8, queen c5. If I get my king tucked away first, or even just queen e8, hang on, just pin, pin and win. And then just e6 or d5 coming up, or bishop a3. I could just simplify if I could just get the queens off. Get everything off, king f2 to e3. Looks straightforward enough. Okay, well, I'm not winning quickly enough, it seems. I have 34 minutes to go. Okay. So we're 1526. Setting the time here. Is it Bishop B5? Mm. Fried liver. Knight G5, so it's not happening. Okay, no fried liver. Play for a quick attack with g5. On the g5, if I play g takes, that might be okay in this sort of position. Or this f4 now, just play for f4. I go knight h5 to f4, knight e5, knight e5, queen h5. I right, get the queen over there first, queen g6, knight g4, knight h5 to f4. Actually, knight d4. What's wrong with knight d4? That's so, okay. I'm friendly mate. If queen g3, knight e2. Okay, knight e2. for knight g3 and uh, well he's not actually uh, wrestling anything much uh, so if I just take on f1 for a moment take on a2 b5 rook b2 that sort of thing So I go for knight g3 like this. Weakens the king a little bit. We go to d4 here, just get rid of knights. Um, can I get onto the back row? I think uh, rook b2 for queen d1 at some point. If I play rook b2, queen d1. Right, just queen e2 here. Okay, so d2 looks strong for queen e1. D1. G5 for queen f4. Queen g5. Okay. Yeah, I'm not up there, sort of. Okay. Uh, 
asymmetrical again against my Larson uh, Nimzo Larson attack. Uh, okay. Um, I think I'll maybe play like this. I don't know. Isn't there Queen H5 that's G6? But he's weakening this diagonal. So it might be worth it to encourage G6. If it takes up, well, he's got F7 now on pressure. Okay. Being uh, good in this position now. Maybe playing for e4 or. Okay, I can just take that. That's nice. Maybe keep the pin on this knight or bishop going back. Bishop going back, control h8, so that means queen h3. I'm on h2 without any uh, rook h8. point I'm trying just what be good here can I try and put pressure on e6 or something okay knight g5 I think it's gonna be tasty for e6 to be a problem so I'll play bishop f3 Queen d6. And oh, there's e4 here. Test this diagonal just in case. Queen f4, bishop c6 is check. I can take this one, surely. Put in the rook. Queen g7 next, maybe. Okay, up there. And so is Shigori. 2496, I am. So. get to play these Russian systems if they let me okay which is really solid <clears throat> I think Queen H4 is actually uh, coming up as, uh, as an idea now Queen H4 because that this, this place and the no knight on F3 So I get a chance to play ninety seven without ninety five. Okay. Um ninety five here. On takes there's always Queen F two, I've got to remember that. <laughs> uh now there isn't Queen F two, but there's Bishop G four on the cards potentially. matter about losing that pawn if he doesn't castle either side pretty soon um, so I'm stopping and castling both sides uh, open up the position a little bit more okay, so now bishop d5 is threatening this rook okay if I just play for if you play c5 bishop b3, I'll play for f5 or something. Hmm. f3? Is that any good? Am I getting in trouble? What about fg is protecting h1? Queen g5? 
FG and Bishop G4. There's F3 check as well on castling queenside, I think. I'll just get out of the way here for a sec. Is he really going to play Queen G6? I suppose he could play Queen G6. I think Bishop G4 now is uh, Rook Rook F3, Rook F2. If I double here, I'll just take on E5. I'm threatening B2. Um, try and get this knight out of the way. Threatening B2 again. Can I try and get this pawn before it's too late? So bishop f5 for queen e2. I mean rook e2. Play rook d2 here. King h7. Right, my pawn's going. This with pre move, can't I? I'm not going to lose on time, am I? Uh oh. What's happened? He forfeited on time. I thought I was gonna. I thought I was gonna. Uh, that's not very really nice. <laughs> Bad loser. <laughs> thought I won fairly and squarely. I had good conversation with the pawn. It's okay to be a pawn down. <laughs> In chess. Pawns play for each one f5 or something. Or? This is going to close my bishop up. So the 2100 and minus 4 is not good for a 2100, surely, to be on minus 4. What's going on here? Is he joined late? I'm threatening bishop d4 now. So I'm putting bishop back and then play for b4, put it on f2, then b4. B4. And King G2 and Rook H3, and then there's Rook H1. Um, okay, he's trying to get my king exposed. I'm going to try and do the same over there. So E5 here gives me maybe some pressure. I'll take and then hopefully D4 or we'll check here. So D4 coming up. Does it actually do anything? Yep. Mm. I don't know. If I put the queen on E4. Um, use the knight here. Okay, so he's pretty solid at the moment, isn't he? Or is he? No, not now. Is he overrated? 2100 at minus 4. What's going on there? I could have a, comp a conversation on the uh, public tournament chat about compensation for being a pawn down, but I haven't got time. <laughs> 
Okay, minus six for Hunk. What is what is going on with Hunk? Why is it on minus six? A twenty-one thirty on minus six. <laughs> Can I take this here? Try and minimize damage in some way. A bit provocative, maybe. I think I've seen some sort of analysis recently like this. Uh, well, this was interesting. Andrew Martin's refutation of Grand Prix attack or something looks similar. Okay, so Queen H4 coming up here is uh, maybe I'll take first. Then Queen H4. So what will this give me exactly? Bishop E5? Or I might have to go back here, I think. This knight's pretty pretty hot. Can I make a pawn? What about it? Stay born in the ending, you never know. If it's a free pawn. I can get this knight here. He's gonna use that d5 score, he's gonna take here. He could just take that. Right, so I've got a bit of a passive position. If I play trying to play for c4, that will try and damage. White's pawn structure. Doesn't really want repetition, does he? Alright, so I have to protect and maybe try for queen g6. Try and get the queens off. Oh, it's queen g4. Okay, that's good to keep the pawn solid, maybe. Try and use this G file at some point. Ah, that's a pain. Okay, uh, that is a pain. I've got no decent response. It's going to be on G7 now. Oh, G5 is almost mating. Whoops. That's my king can go to F4. Clever, is it? If I take on g2 for bishop d5, I'm trying to get rid of the attacking bits, I'm trying to get my other rook in the attack. Oh there. F4. Is that any good? It's only got four seconds. Bit of a vicious game that one, I don't know. I just got, I don't know, lost control. I think that invitation for repetition on uh, knight g7 was very weakening. Can I just take here and take on d8? This wins the exchange, doesn't it? Castle Queen side now on D eight. Try and play for um H for G four. Try to get this diagonal working against G seven. Try and get this diagonal working on G seven. <clears throat> Chasing Shigorin. Oh, 
two three six five. I think offer of draw is not going to accept it. I guess. Rejected. Ah, oh, it's going to be dangerous, isn't he? For the first time of a lost position. I think I'm going to try and resign. I don't want to waste too much time uh, losing in this position. And this. Get mated on to knight g5. This might already be terminal. And it's queen e8 trying to get the queens off. Okay, not immediately terminal. I can play for, I don't know, b6, bishop a6. B6 and Bishop A6 would be a bit of compensation <coughs> for the pawn. Uh, can I provoke Knight E5 for Bishop D4? A4 for. Nope. Or like Bishop C6. Is that any good? Bit of compensation for the pawn. Alright, so. Um, if I double here. No, that's not going to help. Knight g5 is going to be a pain. That's rook f2. The double there for g5 h3. Um, I suppose rook f3 in this position takes on c5. So I haven't got anything. Okay. If I move this back, try and keep some tension going. Protects g5. Okay. B6 and Knight C5. He's still on G5 quite heavily now. I think I have to take. Okay, so Knight E5 now threatened. Takes something like. Oh, he's got to move the Knight. Actually, this is alright. And he's short on time. I might have a chance now. Okay, so this is a good position, surely. Um, what would be good here? I'd take like this, knight 96, we'll go 7. I suppose 96, we'll go 7 again. Or can I just pay for rook f3 here to try with my pawn back? Is there anything else going on here? What about this A file? I'll try and get my pawn back. It's not going to let me, is he? Alright, stick around the A file. Oh, that was clever. Um, okay, I've got to get back to. Uh, Hang on, protect this guy for a moment. Ten seconds to finish me off. Eight, seven, seven, six. Can I use the A file? Where did I go there? Three, one, zero. <laughs> okay. Oh dear, oh dear. That was. Uh... Okay, it's aggressive eight values. Oh no, come on, oh, Muppets. What? I was just saying, aggressive A file use. Can I try and get to his king? I'm taking his queen now, on 95. Should I just give it up? It's going to be a long, painful loss, isn't it? 
Can I get behind the hair just in case? Oh. <laughs> so I really expected something like moving a pawn there. <laughs> you felt, oh no, 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 I don't want to play this guy. I think I'm just going to, at this point I'm just going to resign, I don't want to play him. Call me chicken, but I'm not doubling or anything. I'm in a good position to try and win the tournament. I just need to win a few games uh, without playing 20, too many 2400s anyway. Okay, so knights, d4. If I just double the pawns here, can I just play for g4 later? Right, bishop d4 to c5, just blockade the dark squares. Actually, knight c5 might be good. And bishop a6 to b7 at some point. And I can't hold up c5. Front mate. Um, well, it's bishop h5. Okay, that's creating some weaknesses. So maybe just h4, h5, h5 bishop h5. So I think h4 and just maybe king f2, rook h1. And my knight's protecting that, so I'm not immediately losing that piece. Okay, I think I'll just keep an advantage like that. I'm gonna get this knight out of the way, okay. Get the rook out of the way. Maybe uh Okay, maybe uh the ending will be good. These diced pawns. Oh, that knight b two hit no 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 no. Let's play knight b two bishop c four to get rid of that one. Knight b two to c four to e five. I don't really want to give up my knights, but knight e5 is going to be, is going to be play. Okay, bishop f3 here. Dice the pawns for the ending. Uh, so knight e5, okay. okay. This is a nice knight for the middle game. Um, okay, so c5 is now target. So something like rook c3, just doubling on c5, surely. Double on c5. B4, for k5, rook c7. That will give me uh, very dangerous opportunities, surely. I can try and blast my way on this c file. If I go back to c1 here, would that help? Uh, we'll just exchange off queens. Should be good enough for rook c7. This pawn should be an asset for mating nets. Was it getting a knight to f6 later? Okay, threat 94. That'd be on the bishop. I get king to e5 or something. Let's get the king to e5. Oh, okay. Can I win this pawn with my king? This e4 pawn. The, the, yeah, this ending should still be pleasant. Although my clock's just gone down massively. I don't know what happened there. Fourteen. Am I got four? Can I try and get a mating net of some sort? Oops.
Close on the clock. Close on the clock. D6 and F5. So F5. Sort of like a. That's annoying. So five minutes to go. I think for this kingside attack here, F5 and knight G6. Or just. Okay. Try and keep hold of the dark squares. In fact, taking bishop e3 would be good. I'll put the bishop on that diagonal. Um, and queen g5, queen h5. Okay, so there's knight f4 potentially, or also f5. Could be useful. So knight f4 here. Um, I'm getting anywhere with bishop g4 soon. There's f3 as well. I'm going to play f3, rook f4, g4. Okay, I'm on g1, queen g2 threatened on c4 as well. Queen g2. Just pick up the rook. Anything stronger? Let's check in. No, no, no. I'll take both rooks. There's no immediate check. So I'm going to defend my king now. It's queen e6. That's about it. Let's get the queens off. Now on the cards. Okay. Okay, three minutes to ten to go. A one nine two. Let's just offer a draw here. Dangerous. Nope. Okay. It's not accepting it. position. Um, if I can play for c4, it might be okay for d5 pressure. Okay, so there's d5 pressure a little bit. Um, it's got this clamp on. Um, do I go for bishop a3, cheeky? Take on e4 after. Let's get rid of this horrible knight. Okay, so there's bishop d6 there. Let's move back here with queen c4. Get the queens off. King involved here. I suppose he's got f4. Okay, uh, I saw bishop g4, so I've got king e2 without bishop g4. He's got this on the check here. He's going to go for um, a6 or something. I'm going to go for knight e4 to f6. That gives me knight g4 and king f8. Okay. That should be good. There's bishop b5 winning my rook. That matter. I got work on the seventh. Um, yeah, knight to f6 again for fun. Um, I think I'll get behind this pawn actually. 
and try and cross with my king soon on b4. Oh, come on, d5, come on. Okay, let's keep these pawns just in case. Okay, so knight c6 or knight d7 to c5. Okay, I'll take this guy out. Try and win these pawns or something. If I get behind this pawn, then there's knight c4. Time. He's going to run me out of time, isn't he? Can I try and get this pawn off a draw? Three seconds. Oh dear. Oh, I think it's almost the cubits have been assigned anyway. I think the cubits have been assigned. This is no big deal. Okay, seven if that was hard torments to try and stay up there in the top ten. Okay, uh hope you enjoyed it. Comments or questions on YouTube, bit of a cluster, just about the same number of points there. Thanks very much. <laughs>